So this is my number one iOS developer tip and it will save you hours of time and only takes five minutes to implement. Let's do it. So here it is, you must set up Xcode Cloud for every project, that's it. Set up Xcode Cloud for every project and it will take care of so much work for you. So to get this working, you're going to need a developer account through Apple, Xcode installed on your computer, and of course you're going to need something like GitHub or, or similar. So let me show you by creating a new Xcode project. Now we're gonna make sure that the product name is unique to the App Store, otherwise Xcode Cloud will complain. Make sure you have uh, create Git repository selected. Next, we need to push this to GitHub. So in order to do that, we need to first create the project on GitHub. Now we want to grab this URL. Next, I open up the project in my Git client. I like to use Tower these days. Previously, I was a Git Kraken user, um, and you can also use the terminal if you prefer to. But in mine, in Tower, I just go remotes, add a remote repository. I call it origin, main, anything you like, and then put that URL in there. Add the remote. And then I push my changes, the initial project. Going back to GitHub, we can do a refresh and we can see our project is now uploaded. Open up your project in Xcode and you go to the report navigator and here you can see your local builds and then there's this new one called Cloud. If you click on that and click get started, we can begin the process of setting up Xcode Cloud. And you can see here it says there is no app on App Store connect with bundle identifier. So this will create the app for you. This also saves you a bunch of time in having to go to the developer portal and set up a new app. This is all completely automated. Start build, and here you go. You didn't even have to go to product, archive, and then do the manual upload. So there's some other customizations you can make here. So you can go into your um, workflow. You can manage these workflows. And inside there, you can determine other things. Like you can say, or I want this to be deployed for test flight. Excellent, which is exactly what we want. Now there is still one thing blocking your apps from going out to test flight automatically, and that is the missing compliance warning that you get when you upload a new build. The reason for this is because you need to specify encryption. To fix the encryption settings, we need to go back to our project and we add a new key. ITS app uses non-exempt encryption, and we set this to no. Then all you need to do is commit those changes, push the code, and you'll have test flight builds going up automatically. So yeah, thanks for joining me today on this really quick video. I hope you found it useful. If so, please like and subscribe. I'm very close to a thousand subscribers, and once I get that, I'll be able to do a couple of extra things here on YouTube. Thanks, till next time.